An update to breaking news that we first brought you at 5 o'clock. An elderly man is recovering tonight after being carjacked while he was shopping today in Midtown. Two News reporter Liz Bryant spoke with his relatives about what happened. Liz? Well, Karen and Russ, right now police are searching in this area for this suspect. It all happened where we are at at 21st and Yale in this Target parking lot just earlier this afternoon. Police say a 76-year-old man got in his car, put the keys in the ignition. When he went to shut his door, that's when a man stepped in. Just one look at him and you can see he's 76 years old. But what you can't see here, A.J. Zinn is a fighter. Grandpa's tough. Um, I don't think we have to worry about him. Brandon you know, Brock says his grandfather now has a black eye, swollen head, and bandaged arms. It all started in this parking lot at 17th and Yale. Brandon says his grandfather loaded groceries into his car and reached for the door. When police say the man in this surveillance video quickly interrupted, he told AJ, this is my car. A fight escalated from there. Brandon says the robber bit AJ's hand and threw him on the ground. Grandpa's never one to, you know, let people, um, you know, take what's not theirs. Um, he raised all of us to feel the same way, and so I'm, I'm with him. I feel like fighting was the best thing for him to do. And despite that fight, investigators tell me the robber took off in AJ's car heading north on Yale. Police say he turned into this apartment complex at 11th and Erie with a 1994 blue Cadillac DeVille. Then he took off. I think the big issue here is that we're not talking about just a stolen car. You know, we're talking about, you know, time lost, uh, money lost um, for emergency rooms. I was supposed to be at work today. You know, my sister's, you know, got to have somebody to watch her baby. It's, it's not just, you know, they stole a car. He really disrupted our lives. And Brandon says after x-rays at the hospital, AJ, the fighter, is expected to be fine. Give him a couple of days to get over the soreness and he'll be right back to where he was. And as you saw in the video, police say the man is in his 30s, has long hair and ponytails, and is about six feet tall. Live in Midtown Tulsa, I'm Liz Bryant. Two News works for you.